An alcoholic father and a broken home led Mary coming into homelessness as a child. Drinky when he's working, he didn't feed us at all. In 1977, he duffed it. We was in our nappies. The food was full of flies. He couldn't get a stuff about us. He worried about his drinking habits. Rod Kelly can also trace his stint on the streets back to his father. And all I really ever longed for, believe it or not, was my father <laughs> to come and have a game of tennis with me. Or to, even just to simply say, I love you, Rod. The path to homelessness can often be tracked to a single defining moment, the inspiration for the title of a new book on Brisbane homelessness, Detours. An ex-digger ex who uh, was glassed in a bar, you know, and, uh, and he finds himself sort of ostracised by the community, you know, but then, so that's the tipping point, and then, but then he gets on the drugs and that's what keeps him on the street. And then, uh, you know, another, another woman loses a child to a cot death. While some watched friends die on the streets, others found solace in the companionship they received at the 139 Club, which also gave them jobs to do. If I can do something to help, some to help like clean windows, chairs, or just muck around with a few clothes, then that makes me feel um, that makes me feel like I'm not I'm not living off the government. Rod Kelly says it's hard to empathise with homeless people because we only see the end product of their pain. But what community don't see is they don't see that young boy who was six years old who used to be sodomised by his father every night. They don't see the young six-year-old boy. They see the 30-year-old man who is traumatised from that who might be a bit loud. They don't see that woman who went into her first child's bedroom when the child was three days old at her house and the baby had passed away. They don't see that. What they see is the, you know, what they would class as the insane woman walking up and down the street. Mary is no longer homeless, but she believes there needs to be more support, particularly for homeless women. There's a lot of people on the street who's got kids. At the house of the apartment, it's supposed to have people with families. Not. I've got two children. I don't see them very often, but they're nice children and I love them. Rod says no one chooses a life of homelessness. It's usually thrust upon them, but he is living proof there is a way out of it. I love who I am today. After 40, 35 years, I finally feel like I know where I belong.